Hiya Geeks! Welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing about 10 important topics you need to do from biochemistry. Okay, this is the first unit of the CSIR next syllabus and it is one such unit that is fundamental. You cannot skip this unit if you want to qualify for CSIR net. Let's put it just that way. Because the relationships of this unit with the others is vast. And the number of questions also that come in this uh, paper are great numbers. So I'll link it somewhere on the screen that how much the subjective part and how much the objective part hold weightages in the CSIR net paper. So definitely by seeing those figures, you will be convinced that you should do this unit. But I know many of us do not like this unit or we kind of find it a little hard to do. So in that case, don't do the entire unit. Do those, un do those parts that majorly are asked in the papers and study smart because you know you can't do everything and anything, right? So I hope this video helps you out and by the end of the video, if I have put some knowledge into you, I've added something to your pockets, then definitely subscribe to my channel and like it. Okay, so let us get started without much ado. So first thing that you need to understand, you need to do from this unit is about water. Okay, everything about water you need to know, why is it very good solvent, what is the heat capacity of water, what are the kinds of bonds that are formed, at which positions, how many hydrogen bonds, about the dipole moment, the polarity, everything you should know. And where should you do it from? You can do it from Leninger, you can do it from Voigt. If you want to know for the other units what references to go for, definitely check down my i button or down in the description. I have linked the link for my video where I have talked in particular for each uh, unit what are the references to be followed. Okay, so that first one was water. For the second one, what you need to do is the structures of lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids and vitamins. Sounds a lot, but I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. So for carbohydrates, you need to understand the positions properly. At what position the glycosidic bond is formed, at what position what is attached, which enzymes cuts at what position in the carb, certain disaccharides, what are they made up of. Seem basic, but definitely questions are asked from these sections also. The second molecule that you need to do are lipids. Now in lipids, specifically those that are involved in the membrane, you need to exactly know which lipids, the points of attachment with the different molecules, the enzymes, if any, that digest that particular lipid. Also, you need to know about the cis and trans configuration. And there are questions not only in CSIR, but other exams as well, where they ask you about unsaturated, saturated, in what region, which fatty acids will be incorporated and so on and so forth. So you need to really be thorough with that. You need to understand the uh, graph analysis of the particular segments so how you will understand how many segments are passing through the membrane all of that things you will get to do from this part and definitely you can follow Leninger and Voigt also for vitamins you need to know what are the water soluble vitamins what are insoluble vitamins and the deficiencies associated with it so those are usually direct questions they give you a symptom or they give you a disease and they ask you the associated vitamins so usually you have to do the match match the column kind of thing for nucleic acids specifically of great importance and what in that the a b and z form of the dna rna and its secondary structures there are direct questions coming from these things directly they'll ask you the distance between the two uh, bases in z form is how much the turn or how much angstrom so direct questions are asked from this part so definitely you can do it the second one is you need to focus, sorry, the third one, the forces of attraction. So van der Waals forces, covalent linkages, disulfide bonds, about these you need to know and you need to remember the associated energy. So how many 5 joules, 0.5 joules, whatever, whatever is the value associated, you need to remember that there are questions also from this part. Okay, then a little calculus part that comes from this is going to be a fourth associated topic 
and that is from pH of the buffer. So you would find many questions like you know you add this solution and this solution now tell the resulting pH of the solution. Also there are questions wherein pKa values are given and you have to find the uh, ratio of the acid and the conjugate base or the salt upon acid. So all those types of in this you have to specifically do the henderson hasselbalch equation and I have made a video on the top important topics of priority you need to do for this particular unit so basically you can just say it is the chemistry required in the biology so those are the topics so one is doing the ph properly the henderson hasselbalch equation and about buffers in this only itself i will add another two chemistry topics first one is called as the enzyme kinetics so specifically what you need to do, you need to understand the first order reaction, the equation associated with it to calculate rate. Second order reaction, zero order reaction. So the rate constants of the reaction, the units of the rate constants, the equations and the half-lives. These are very important. Also do the graphical representations. I'll suggest you the best place to do this from is your 12 standard textbook. That is more than enough. There's one chapter. If you read thoroughly, you will definitely be able to solve all the questions from this section. The other important thing that you have to do is thermodynamics. My God, I can't emphasize enough on how important this topic is. From this particular section, I have seen majority of questions from the past 16 years. So when I am telling you, you definitely do believe that you need to do these topics. Specifically, what in thermodynamics is asked? So they go about asking you about the delta G that is gives free energy. So the equations delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S delta G is equal to RT ln K that equation. Then you have to do the equations for entropy. So entropy delta S is equal to Q upon T. So these kind of questions are asked. They ask you questions on the enthalpy of reaction delta H. This is very, very, very important. So if you're not doing it in entirely, these topics you have to do. I have made a video on the questions that come from this section. I'll link it up here or down in the description. Go check it out. It may be a little lengthy, but definitely it will give you a practice of as to what the type of questions are asked. Okay, so this particular section is important and the numericals, if you know the formula, are very easy to solve. So definitely do not skip this part. The next important topic is from the bioenergetic section. Now here you have all your major cycles like glycolysis, Krebs cycle, ETC. You need to understand about substrate level phosphorylation in property. Then from where the electrons are passed in the ETC. What are the particular enzymes that uh, the particular molecules that block a certain enzyme. Those are important to understand over here. So this is one section. If you know it, it is great. If not, then you'll have to study it in details. But since it is there from basics, many of us definitely can do it and know about it. You just need to revise a little more. The next very, very important topic in terms of solving is the enzyme kinetics. The type of questions that come from enzyme kinetics is first of all the michaelis menten equation and the associated problems. Majority of questions from the enzyme kinetics are from this section itself. The other questions that come are from the graphs. So the line weaver Berg plot, the Eddy Hofstede plot. So there are different plots that are there. Go through uh, the book uh, by Leninger. There is another book that I will link it down somewhere below that's Corn and Stump. So in this book also enzyme kinetics is given in great details and it is easily explained. So definitely, definitely do not skip enzyme kinetics at all. Practice the numericals thoroughly. Next, one of the top priority types question that you will find almost every time is based on proteins. Okay, so in proteins, what is important is you need to understand the primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure of proteins, the different conformations, okay, the different motives. So every enzyme has certain motive. So what is the motive? What is a leucine zipper? What is the different structures that are involved in the catalysis is something you need to do. Another very important hot topic is on the Ramachandran plot. So questions on Ramachandran plot are usually asked in the part C. So if you know it, you get four marks straight away in your pocket and it is actually very easy to understand. Okay, so that is about 
this another thing i would like in the enzyme kinetics is certain enzymes like the chymotrypsin trypsins pepsinogens basically the proteases okay they cut at specific locations so i have also observed type of questions where they give you a peptide chain and they will give you an enzyme and every enzyme has a specific location so someone will cut after arginine someone will cut between the two positively amine uh, positively charged residues so that kind of questions are asked from this part so just do that also properly now the topic you need to do is about amino acids you need to understand which are the acidic amino acids basic amino acids then about the uh, aromatic amino acids and within those also you need to understand the beer lambert's law how would you apply it the formula and how to calculate the isoelectric point for a particular amino acid this is an again a very important question also there are questions on isoelectric point of the whole peptide so do those kind of questions as well then the next part is on metabolisms so metabolisms of purines spiridines all of this fall under this section it is a very 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 bulky very big section so i can say you can skip it if at all you are not a person who can't remember that much because it it's not possible to remember everything so if you have done other units and you're confident about those you can skip this part because you can't say what kind of question they would ask from this and the amount of material you have to read for the section outweighs the number of questions that come so i'll say it's not such an important section but if you're someone who's already done it then definitely you should brush up on it lastly there are a few general types of questions that come from this unit that you are not directly done maybe in some chapter so what do they ask you if there is 50% a then tell me how much is the percentage of g other type of questions that are asked are on the melting temperature so graphs are given about the g plus c content and you have to analyze what is particularly given in that graph so certain type of questions then they will ask you if this much is the length of dna then what would be the number of bonds then they ask you question on the linking numbers of circular dna these are certain small small topics which are actually very easy but we tend to ignore them if you want i can make a short video on such topics that are these which we tend to miss and they are not exactly given in one position the best way to understand the questions that are asked and the topics you need to focus for this unit is seeing your syllabus and seeing the past years question papers so this much is what i have for you if you have come this far please subscribe to my channel like it it really helps me it boosts my motivation to make more videos for you if you are interested in checking out other important topics that i have done for the other units please check the description or the i button you will have everywhere where i have told you some important topics if you have any query or if you want your friends to know anything that i have missed out from this please mention it in the description or sorry in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video bye